Hello, this is Miss Laura from the Glenwood Library. I'm wondering, what do you do if you've gone to the farmer's market and have too many fruits and vegetables? I had so much fun shopping at the farmer's market because of all the colors and shapes of the fruits and vegetables. Did you know fruits and vegetables are sold in markets all over the world? I wonder, is there a craft project I can make that will show all of the beautiful colors? I know, let's make art prints with fruit. It's time for... Boredom Busters! Before beginning any craft project, make sure you ask your grown up. There are some supplies that we will need for this project. We will need fresh fruits and vegetables. I have my apple ready. We'll need some washable tempera paint, some paper plates to put the paint on, some paper, and a marker. I had a grown up help me cut the apple in half. Here it is. Here's the seed and the stem. I have some red paint on my plate and I'm going to very carefully dip my apple in the red paint, swirl it around a little bit until I make sure all of the apple is covered. Might have to do it twice. And I'm going to very gently press my apple down on my paper, not too hard, and pull it back up. And let's do one more. When you're finished, make sure you put your apple back in the plate with the paint so you don't get it on anything else. While my apples are drying, let me show you a few of the other fruit prints that I made today. Some strawberries, some limes, and some grapes. Once I know they're very dry, I can even use a marker to decorate a little bit. Grapes have a stem, so I'm going to just draw a little stem onto my grapes. You can draw dots on the strawberries with little seeds. And when the apple is all the way dry, I can add a seed in the middle. There are my finished prints. I wonder what fruits and vegetables you will choose. See you next time.